Hello Unity Consciousness, fellow souls. I am the universe expressing itself as Marissa and I am so excited to have you guys here with me today for the first ever little instructional video as part of the Unity Consciousness Club. I'm going to be sharing some awesome tips that will hopefully help you become more comfortable with meditation. If you are just starting to get into meditation, if you're trying to get more in depth with your meditation, if maybe you're having some sort of struggles or something like that, and even if you are a seasoned meditator, I do hope that you can take Take some of these tips and maybe apply them to your practice and that they will somehow be helpful in expanding your practice even further. This is something that will benefit anyone who is trying to meditate. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. start, I just want to share a quote from Deepak Chopra about meditation because I think that it is very relevant as we begin to discuss meditation and discuss things that you want to keep in mind when you are meditating. I think it's kind of important to understand what exactly we mean when we say meditation, right? What exactly are you doing when you are attempting to meditate? So this quote from Deepak Chopra, it says, meditation is not a way of making your mind quiet. It is a way of entering into the quiet that is already there. So I really like that. It's not a way of making your mind quiet, but it is a way of connecting with the quiet that is already there. And so I think that's very important to understand is when you are meditating, what you are really trying to get to is that stillness, that stillness within. So when you are having a moment of just utter bliss, of utter peace, and you just feel that sort of calmness, it's just this sort of ease and there's no thoughts there's just pure potential energy pure potentiality and so that still place of still energy the quiet waiting waters within you that is what we are really trying to access with the meditation that is what we are trying to explore so that is something to keep in mind we're not trying to shut the mind off we're just trying to get to the stillness that is already there within us so that being said let's just get right into the tips so I did put these tips in sort of a chronological order of things that you would be considering as you are going into the process of meditation. So I'm going to start sort of from the beginning and then we're going to progress throughout. So the first tip that I would give you as you are about to sit down and you are about to try to do a meditation is to set your intention. Yes. So what do I mean by that? I mean, I want you to think about what exactly you want out of the meditation. Is there something particular that you are trying to manifest? Something that maybe has been bothering you? Something that you're trying to heal? Are you trying to just relax? Are you trying to relieve stress? Maybe you're trying to attract monetary abundance. You're trying to attract money. You're trying to attract love. Maybe you're just trying to be more present or just to be more mindful. Whatever it is, it's going to be completely up to you. But just really think about it for a moment before you even begin your meditation. And really, at this point, you're already sort of getting into the meditation, you're sort of already getting into that mindset, but really set an intention for yourself. Think about what you are trying to achieve with this meditation. And even if this is your first meditation, you don't even really understand, keep that in your mind and say, what would I like in my life right now? What would serve me in my path? What do I need at this moment? And with that, that should be your intention. And you can send energy to another person. You can try to manifest something on a larger or a smaller scale. Once again, it's entirely up to you, but whatever feels important to you, that is what you are going to want to set for your intention. So that is the first thing to consider. Have an intention going into the meditation. So next, the second trick is that you are going to want to take some steps to quiet your mind. Yes, so to get into that stillness, right, we need to come to a place of calmness, obviously. And so that's not always easy. We obviously have a lot of things going on in our lives. There can be different stressors during the day. Our mind can be running with a million different thoughts, but it's important that we reach that stillness. And so there's a couple of different things that you can try to do in order to reach that stillness. The first big thing that I think really, really is just so powerful, something that works for me really well, kind of my go-to thing to find this sort of peaceful place within myself is to take deep breaths. So there are a couple of different ways that you can do that. You can just become aware of your breath, just feel it going in and out with no real effort to control it. Just observing your breath and just feeling it going in and out of your body. You can take purposeful deep breaths, you know, really just feel the essence of the oxygen of the life force go within you and 
throughout you and just feel it travel throughout your body. I would suggest that if you're going to do some sort of breathing technique, at least do 10 deep breaths, something like that. I've also seen different techniques where you can breathe in for, let's say, 4 seconds and breathe out for 8 seconds, so you breathe out for double the time that you breathe in. There are so many different ways that you can do it, and once again, there is no one-size-fits-all way to do this. We are all individual expressions of the consciousness. We are all unique souls, and so there is no wrong way of doing it. It is only a matter of what feels good for you. But breathing exercises can be extremely powerful for calming the mind and for bringing you back to that present place. Another super important step in meditation is to find a place that is quiet, preferably dark, and where you can be in a peaceful state. You want to try to find a relaxing space, somewhere that you're not going to have a lot of outside noise interference. You don't want things to be interrupting you, to be distracting you, to be drawing your mind out of the meditation. So ideally you want to find somewhere where you can just be at peace. If you have other people in your household, maybe wait until they're about to go to sleep or just simply ask them to be a little more quiet or even better, invite them to meditate with you. <laughs> but just keep that in mind. It is going to be easier, especially if you are a beginner meditator. There's not a lot of distractions all around you. So that is the big thing. Try to find a nice, peaceful place for you to meditate. Another thing you can do is perform yoga. So a lot of people do not actually realize yoga in the Western world has become so Sort of just sensationalized as just an exercise thing when in reality it actually has thousands and thousands of years of history. And the reason that yoga is actually used traditionally is so that the body can withstand spending hours and hours and hours in the same position meditating. Yoga was just supposed to be a way for the body to use its energy, for it to be, you know, strong and comfortable and flexible so that it could withstand comfortably hours and long sessions of meditation. And so if you are somebody who has a lot of energy, I would highly recommend that you do some sort of yoga beforehand. That way you can sort of calm yourself down through physical activity, use some of the physical energy that you have. That way when you're sitting there, you feel a little more comfortable, you don't feel anxious, you don't feel antsy, you don't feel, you know, tense or like you want to move. You can just sit there and feel comfortable in sitting there <laughs> or lying or however else you want to meditate. Another amazing thing that you can do to really set the energy is to put on some healing frequencies. I definitely want to do a whole other video on sound healing and how energy energy frequencies and sound frequencies actually work. But for now, I'm just going to leave some links in the description to some different hertz that you guys can listen to. You're going to see right away that when you click on it, you're going to listen to it. You're automatically going to feel calm. You're going to feel kind of more peaceful. It's very relaxing. Even if you're not trying to meditate, I always recommend frequencies to people all of the time. It's so nice to just have in the background of a moment and actually different frequencies are used to achieve different states of energy so depending on your intention you might also consider what kind of frequency you're going to put on that is getting a little more advanced but if you're already there that's definitely something to keep in mind you can also utilize aromatherapy so you can use essential oils candles things like that if you are a little bit more advanced again same thing with the frequencies different essential oils can be used to sort of heighten the energy of a particular intention so if that is something that you are considering definitely consider looking into the essential oils again I do want to do a video on that as well but for now you can definitely google it look into it just message us directly and we'd be happy to help you sort of understand what essential oils you should be using what kind of sound healing etc that kind of goes into other things that you can do to set the scene for your meditation some people have altars, perhaps you'd like to meditate in front of your altar. I would also recommend if you have any crystals, things like that. Sometimes I will light candles. A very powerful thing you can do to kind of get into the zone to meditate is light a candle and just stare at the flame. Just hold the candle in front of you and just stare at the flame and put all of your intention into the flame and that also sort of helps to heighten the energy as well. So get out your candles, get out your crystals, maybe any plants, herbs, whatever you would like. Obviously, 
almost every single natural substance has some sort of magical property so really you can get as creative and specific as you want however none of that is actually really necessary I do want to just say real quick that these are things that you can add on to your meditation practice and things that may make it a little bit more easy for you to relax and get into that state but really all you actually need to meditate is just yourself so this is all just things to kind of help you if you are a beginner and and you are still trying to kind of like ease into meditation and you can't just sit there and just get sucked into the vortex so you know just keep that in mind you don't actually need any of this really all you need is your mind and a little bit of effort <laughs> so you have your whole scene set or you don't you have your room ready you have your area ready where you are going to meditate the next thing that you are going to want to do is probably turn off the lights. Now this is not obviously completely necessary, but again, it's just gonna allow you to come to a kind of calm point and also to kind of look within rather than focusing on what's around you in the physical world. We're really trying to go into the conscious world. We're trying to go into the consciousness, into the astral planes, into the dimensions beyond. So we wanna kind of draw the focus away from the physical realm for a second. So by turning off the lights, that kind of also helps us do that with the mind. So after you turn off the lights, the next thing that you're you're going to want to do is just find a comfortable position of some sort. It is completely up to you how you want to do that. I would recommend that you are facing upward so you can lie on your back or you can sit cross-legged, you can sit with your legs extended. It is usually recommended that if you are going to be sitting up, try to make sure that your back is straight. So if you don't have enough strength, if you're not doing crazy amounts of yoga, you know, all the time to keep your back straight for an extended amount of time, make sure that you're supported by something, sit in a chair, sitting in against a wall, whatever you want to do so that you can make sure that your back is going to be straight. Whatever it is, just get into that comfortable position, get into that space, and really once you are in that comfortable position, focus your mind again on your breath, focus your mind again on the relaxation, and allow yourself to relax all of your muscles. So start with your feet, go throughout your feet, and feel each muscle relax in your foot. Go up your legs, up your torso, your arms, all the way until you get to your head. Relax all the muscles of your face and really feel the wave of relaxation. Feel it like waves passing over you, just getting you more and more and more just into that place, into that space where you are checking out of the physical realm. Allow yourself to come to that stillness, that ultimate peace. So at this point, you're about to begin your meditation, and so you sort of have two choices. So I'm gonna kind of go into detail about what both of those will entail. So your first choice would be to do a guided meditation. So this is something that you would have already selected beforehand. It's something that you would have ready on your computer or your phone or whatever, something that you can go ahead and play it on. There are guided meditations on Spotify, on Apple Music, on YouTube, everywhere. I mean really like they're all over the place you can subscribe to them I know Deepak Chopra is doing a free meditation series right now with Oprah there's so many different places that you can access it you can even just google free meditations online there are seriously countless meditations and what I would recommend is that when you are looking up the meditation consider your intention so if your intention is for love maybe look up guided meditation for love and then the next thing you want to consider is how long you want the meditation to be so how long do you you have to sit there. If you are a beginner, I would definitely recommend trying to meditate maybe for a little bit of a shorter amount of time. Ram Dass once said in one of his books that if you're a beginner, you should not meditate for more than 20 minutes a day. So maybe keep that in mind. I definitely don't think that that's to say that you have to do that. Obviously, our consciousness is very powerful. And if you feel like you can handle three hours of meditation in one day, you probably can. But if you do not think that you can handle that, then maybe I would say try to start with about 20 minutes or less. See how much you can sit there for. Even if it is just 10 minutes, that is okay. And trust me, you're going to love the way it feels. So you're going to want to do at least 20 minutes if you can. Sometimes you don't always have that time. Sometimes it might even just be five minutes. But whatever you want, I guarantee you that there is a meditation there for you. On this channel, we are also going to be releasing meditations for you guys of all different time links as well. So keep that in mind. If you are not already subscribed, please subscribe so you guys can see that content as well. But whatever the case may be, go ahead and find your guided meditation. I would definitely recommend this if you are completely new to meditation. It just kind of gives you an idea of what exactly you should be exploring in your mind. Sort of the places that you are trying to access in your mind in 
the stillness energy of it all. And so if you're just getting into meditation, I would recommend probably starting with the guided meditation. However, you definitely obviously also have the option of doing a non-guided meditation. So that is what I'm going to go ahead and get into now. A non-guided meditation can be a little bit more difficult sometimes, however, it can lead, in my opinion, I think, to a maybe more advanced state of transcendence, and it's, it's sort of just a more intense form of meditation. Something that you can definitely do if you're doing a non-guided meditation to still help you focus and really get into the energy is to use a chant. So basically a chant is something that you say over and over and over and over to invoke this sort of energetic trance, to invoke this sort of transcendent state, and also to manifest this particular energy. A perfect example that I will give you all today as a beginner chant is OM. So this is something that everyone probably thinks of when they think of meditation, you know, you think of the little monks on the hill and they're just OM. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a video entirely about why chanting OM is beneficial and what it actually means and the deeper meaning behind it. However, it essentially just means the universe, the source, the God source. So really you're just invoking the universe over and over and over just by saying OM over and over and over and over and you will see you will feel the energy being pulled from you you will feel the energy flowing i promise you that another very powerful thing that you can do if you are choosing to do a non-guided meditation is to try to visualize your intention try to visualize what you would like to manifest in your life so visualize yourself as if you are living the life of your dreams. If there is something that you are worried about, imagine if that worry has resolved itself or you have moved on to a point where that worry does not feel as a burden any longer. If you are trying to heal the relationship, imagine that that relationship was never hurt in the first place, that it has been healed. If you are trying to manifest more money for yourself, imagine yourself with an endless abundance of money where that is not even a question, where you have everything you could possibly want and more. And here is the really important thing. When you are visualizing all of this, make sure that you are also allowing yourself to feel as if you have it. Feel the excitement, feel the relief, feel the contentment, feel the peace and the pure joy. Feel it all and let it flow through you. The love, the abundance, the clarity, whatever it is that you are trying to access from the stillness, from the vortex, from the united consciousness, imagine as if you are accessing it, as if you are creating it, as if you have already manifested it. That in itself can be multiple hours of meditation. That is a really, really powerful way to really start using the law of attraction, to really start manifesting things for yourself, and to really start seeing your life transform in beautiful ways by using the power of meditation. Another very powerful thing that you can use in your meditation is the idea of light. So visualize various different forms of light. If you are looking for love, perhaps you want to visualize a pink or a red light. If you're looking for healing maybe a white or a gold light whatever it is whatever feels appropriate for you imagine yourself being enveloped with that light according to the chakras and also according to just a lot of different spiritual practices we're sort of connected with source from our forehead right so this is your crown chakra this is basically a line that goes all the way through your head and down your spine right your chakras your energetic source your kundalini whatever you want to call it it is your connection it's another reason why we want to try to keep our back straight, right? So we keep that energy portal whoo, just flowing nice and smoothly. We're getting all of the prana that we could possibly want. <laughs> so imagine yourself being radiated in light from your crown all the way down through your feet and into the earth. And it is just a continuous flow of energy, continuous flow of light. Imagine it engulfing every single particle in your body. Feel the energy, feel the light flowing through you. That is another very powerful way to use energy, to use the meditation, to allow your mind to truly explore this other realm. And once again, obviously, like I previously said, this definitely goes for both the guided and the non-guided meditation. You want to make sure that you are mindfully breathing, make sure that your breath is very full, 
and feels very pure and if you ever feel your mind wandering come back to the breath and focus on the breath and even if you have to count your breath and you know if you feel yourself getting distracted don't give up your roommate dropped something or you know your brother's laughing at a TikTok in the other room don't let it stop you just take a second and you know bring yourself back to that place and the more that you do it the easier you will find it to be let yourself get lost in the world of your mind not lost in the world of the thoughts we're trying to access the consciousness now if thoughts do enter your mind obviously it's important not to judge yourself observe the thoughts and let them go by imagine you're in a river and it's just a boat that you see that continues on into the horizon right it doesn't have to stall we don't have to let it stop us you know we don't have to get in the boat we can observe it going by and then let it continue to go and finally the last tip that I want to give you all as you begin your meditation journey is to try to practice meditation in your everyday life it's really important to understand like I said all you need for meditation is yourself so really you can meditate at any time at any place you do not need to have your eyes closed not need to be in a dark room is it a little easier that way to get into a little bit of a deeper state yes however you really could be meditating all the time 24 7 like the Deepak Chopra quote said all we're really trying to do is access that stillness and so really as long as you are accessing that stillness and you are coming from that stillness with all of your thoughts you can be in a state of meditation so that means that you can be driving in your car and you can be meditating because you are mindfully being present you are allowing yourself to act from a place of stillness you are allowing your energy to be flowing and to be charging that is a form of meditation. For some of us, the closest thing that we have gotten to meditation is probably sex <laughs> or just beautiful moments that we've experienced in our life where we have this huge exhalation of energy. That is what meditation is. Meditation is about tapping into our energy, about tapping into our consciousness, tapping into that stillness, that source energy, and really using it to manifest things in our physical world, to learn and to grow and to explore as a conscious being, not just a physical entity. Really challenge yourself to try to be present. Don't get lost in thinking about the future or the past. You don't have to judge yourself if you have thoughts, but like I said, try to just let them flow. If you feel like you're getting really really stressed sometime during your day or you're just having a bad day or whatever I would highly encourage you to just take a second to do 10 deep breaths take 10 seconds to meditate when you're taking those deep breaths whatever you're doing just stop close your eyes and take 10 deep breaths and I guarantee you you're gonna feel so much better afterwards even that in itself is a form of meditation if you start instituting these small little changes in your daily life to be more mindful you're going to find meditation to be so much easier you're gonna be much more excited and you're gonna be much more elated by the energies that you're going to be experiencing and by the consciousness expansion they are going to be able to access utilize your power as a conscious soul you are infinitely powerful and you can access abundant energy. I am so excited for you guys to get into your meditation journey. Please let me know down below if you guys think I missed any tips that maybe beginners need to know about meditating, something maybe you've experienced in your meditation practice. How long have you been meditating for? Maybe you guys have a favorite meditation. Let me know down below. I want to hear everything that you guys have to say. And of course, please, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can see more meditations see more spiritual content we have so much more good amazing energy content coming for you guys and I'm so excited make sure that you follow our Instagram as well it is unity consciousness club just like our YouTube channel thank you all so much for tuning in I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I wish you all of the luck and beautiful energy and I am right there with you as you begin or continue your meditation journey I am so grateful for you all sending love peace and abundance Goodbye.